We working, never jerking to behind the scenes work. Yo, this is motherfucking Thug Down Thursday. motherfucking live Thug Down Thursday. You already know. Ching Bing, what it is. Set it Listen, off, baby. Man. Thug we got a motherfucking beautiful. legend in the motherfucking Thug house. Thug Down Thursday. Oh, man, I got the realest nigga that ever did it. We got AR in the motherfucking is in the motherfucking building. Make some That's motherfucking perfect. noise. Make some man. noise for AR yeah. yeah. Yo, man, yo, AR let me tell you something, man. Let's go we, got, we got the call that, you know what I'm saying, you was gonna come to Thug Out Thursday. I was yeah. like, I was like some real gangster shit. I said, man, you a good, good, good brother, man. I appreciate that, bro. Heard so much about you. Yeah. The streets know a lot about the streets, you. Yeah. The streets you know, know a lot about you. my bones at. You gotta understand, a lot of rappers got in the street after they got a rap buzz. Right. You understand? I, I, I never really got in trouble after I started yeah, rapping. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my trouble was really before oh, growing rap. up in the hood. Yeah, whereas, I, mean, I got the same pair of sneakers on for a year. Yeah, and it just, yeah. I wanted some sneakers. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so that's when I got in my troubles. Yeah. So a lot of these rappers, you, you wait till you become a millionaire. Mm -hmm. To carry a gun and just mm -hmm. get locked up for guns and drugs and a uh, street niggas is not you in jail that. talking like you it's just like real. yeah I just did my time and all that uh, I'm the new Tupac man. motherfucker yeah. you, you a man there for real are you close to it you gotta understand That's it's people like us who would love to be in their shoes for real. like I don't like I would rather when I was in prison mm -hmm. I used to be thinking like damn man I was thinking about all the guys. That didn't have to come to prison. I don't they, that's not in jail. Mm -hmm. I said, you know, I called that boy a coward before. But like, he's home. Right. Getting money, having sex with beautiful women. Mm -hmm. So who's the fool? Right. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm in prison. Right. I was just chasing a wreck and mm -hmm. wanted, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy's not in prison. He's having sex with his wife, taking care of his children. See that like, so in my mind I'm like, damn, maybe. This is, I'm trying to do something else. Right, yeah. and then when I start hanging around with Cassidy, yeah. I watched him make 30 grand a show. Wow. Right? And this without a tour. Mm -hmm. I watched him get booked three times every weekend some Rose, for like an eight, eight months straight. I watched Cassidy get booked every weekend. 
You want a couple champagne? No. Okay. And that's what made me want to rap. I watched the boy get 30 grand Friday, Saturday, Sunday for like six to eight months straight. I said, man, I don't give a fuck what you doing out in the streets. You ain't making more money than this. Leave it alone. I said, this is what I got to do That's great money. That's great money. That's probably money. I made one day, listen. Yeah, house money. One day I had some features set up, right? It was a Saturday. And this was feature money. I made like eight grand. I'm saying to myself, you know how much drugs and you gotta sell to make eight grand profit. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? You know how many risks you gotta take to make eight thousand dollars profit. Uh, niggas don't know yeah. shit real, B. You yeah. might get a point off a brick, a yeah. stack of two grand off a yeah. So I gotta sell like eight, I mean four bricks to make eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. I gotta rob dirty, I gotta do this, he might wanna rob me, I don't know. It's just You gotta grind hard. I said that rap money's the best thing, man. Yeah, it's man. just clean cash, man. That's right. When they put the thousands in your hand and you like I got like five grand to get on the stage and rap. Mm. Wow. Like, How'd I feel? How did that feel? Oh my God. Because then it was like I was still in the streets at the time, which was years ago. Mm -hmm. So when I'm in the streets making money, mm -hmm. and then, all right, I got this show for 5000 mm -hmm. So I'm putting in my flip, and then he went, he gave me three grand to do a feature. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So, all working, all working. The so, flip. So, so listen, at the end of the month, I'm like, what the fuck? I got all this money. Mm -hmm. I ain't flipped this much. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that rap money, man. I started adding up all the shit. Mm -hmm. And one month I made 50000 off rap. Mm -hmm. When Drake said my name, yeah, when right. Drake said pulled up in the radio playing. That's, that's, that's what I was going to ask you. I made 50 k that month off rap, man. That's right. And it was like, dang. I got, I got, I got At the time, I only had it probably like, I'm going to be honest. I might have had like 15 or 20 grand in my name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm like two, three months home yeah. from prison. Yeah, that changed yeah. your life. Of I'm trying to get my feet like... I, don't, I really don't want to be in the streets like that. I just come home. Yeah. And then when Drake said my name, yeah. I woke up, my yeah. fucking phone wouldn't stop. Mm. Notifications wouldn't stop. Yeah. Wow. So That's now when I answer the phone, it's like 5,000, yeah. 7,500, right. 10 grand. That's right. Four grand. Yeah, it was just, I was yeah. making up numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you want? Oh, uh, you want me to come where? Uh, 6,000? <laughs> All right. Oh yeah! Right. <laughs> you just throwing it out. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. jump on it. Nah, that's I not, gave away my trap phone. That's, that's, that's <laughs> <more of it. laughs> I said I, I looked at my little cousin here. He had a trap phone. Yeah, I'm done. Dope. I'm doing this shit. That was dope. It's more yeah. money. See, a lot of people sell drugs or get in the streets or rappers. They want to fill fill up with the streets just to be a street man. Right. We really did it for the money. Right. So if I can make more money somewhere else, I quit. Right, that's yeah. it. All day. If I can sell with headphones, and I make the same, even, even close to what I make in the streets, I'm gonna sell headphones. That's right. right. I'm a hustler, I never was a drug dealer. That's right. Look the difference. Right. Some people want to be drug dealers. Mm -hmm. I'm in it for the money. Right. If somebody came with a better opportunity, they said, all right, how much you make a week in, in, in drug dealing? If I said, I make, uh, what, four grand a week. He said, all right, listen, I got a construction job to make six grand a week. I quit. That's right. Yeah. All day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Day. I'm in a, who's in it for the money? Mm -hmm. Now you see rappers, they want, they, they wait till they get on. And wanna, mm -hmm. It's not even that much money in the streets. Show, show how when you want to go back to the streets, yeah. Yeah. you'll hear about a rapper getting caught with coke. And, nah, nah. and my mind's like, bro, it's not even that much money there. It don't make no sense. It's not, you're not, you're not going to make 50, 100 grand. For real. It's going to take you like a year to make that shit. Mm -hmm. And you got to have some shit. And you got to not get locked up or robbed or killed. Within that year to make that song, I just never understood that. Before they ever heard about me, you gotta understand. I, I, I did that first. Right. When I start fucking with Cass, I, I, I quit. That's what made you start rapping. Yeah, because I seen him on TV, mm -hmm. and he told me, hey, "I'll make you a millionaire." And I just believed it. Like, damn, how, you make, how you make Cass? You gotta understand. He on TV. I'm like, you gonna make me a millionaire? I quit. You uh, make Cass? Cass is originally from my neighborhood, but I didn't know him. I didn't see him for real, for real. Right. He left when he was like 10 years old. Yeah. But he's still cool with everybody from there, like from his block. Right. I'm from like three blocks down. Mm -hmm. So we got mutual friends. One of my best friends is like his best friend. Right. So he used to always say, yo, my, my, my homie Barry, my homie Barry. That was before he was scarcely. Mm -hmm. So you gotta hear him, he used to give me his tape. I'm like, this motherfucker, it's back in the day. Mm -hmm. He used to spend all mm -hmm. the punch lines yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, this nigga hot as a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, then he got yeah, signed with Rough shooting. Riders. Mm -hmm. And there was times where though, my, my, homie, my homie's like, yo, my baby, come on. Come with me, you about to go with Cassidy. And I go with him and 
None of the motherfuckers don't know me. They're like, dude, everybody went, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy? I jumped in the car and just mob. And then I start seeing, like, these guys ain't really, like, mm-hmm. you know, all we get in, like, I, you right. know what I'm yeah. saying? And I started, just, that's how I met him. Mm-hmm. And I went to jail. When I came home, he just, like, pulled up on me with my friends. My friends said, listen, I need somebody like you around me. I'm having trouble with these guys in my neighborhood. I just need you. I mean, mm-hmm. he said, "Listen, we are gonna be millionaires. We are gonna get this. We are gonna get that." You gotta understand. I just come home from jail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I got, I got, I got a woman. Mm-hmm. We got an apartment. We trying to get. I'm trying to get a car. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to save my money. And he mm-hmm. come with this shit. Mm-hmm. I left the streets alone at that time. Yeah, went with him. My second month with him, I was on a run for murder. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fucking with him and uh. They ain't opened the case in like two months. So when he went to jail, he would really turn himself in. He said, come on, how we gonna turn ourselves in? I said, hell no. That's right. On the street. They got to come get <laughs> Like, we not gonna make their job easy. They gonna earn this money. So like, I, ran for like 10, I ran for like 10 months. Yeah, sure. One thing about being on the run is like being in jail, you can't really, especially when you're gonna run for an homicide. Right. You can't make no money. No doubt. So guess what happened when I'm gonna run? I found myself trying to rob people and I made it even worse for myself. Mm-hmm. I caught a couple more shooters. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm fucked up. Yeah. We in a room. I'm scared to come outside because I'm on the news. And it was just like, I got to surround some people. I got to start doing I was in a different area to, to Philly. Yeah. Try to open up strips. Mm-hmm. No, I don't belong up here. <laughs> I got my workers out there. They shooting at my worker every day. And I got to come up there. It's a whole mess. Mm-hmm. So I had to get back. I got back in the streets once cash turned itself in. Mm-hmm. So then I ain't got no income. Mm-hmm. Got back out there. I start getting depressed. I can't make no money. Mm-hmm. I got a baby on the way. It's a whole bunch of shit. I'm like, man, I'm just. I went to my mom's crib and just started chilling in my mom's crib. I'm surprised they ain't been coming got me. I was in my mom's house like three, three, two months before they came and got me. When they came and locked me up, Cass was on his way out. So I see him one time, right? He ready to leave. The day he ready to leave, I'm going to court in prison. So he walking past the cell, banging on the cell like, yo, I never seen him in jail because he was, we did the same job, but he was. Like uh, he was like in a protective custody block, yeah. like the mm-hmm. you know yeah. the, the administrative block. You know what I mean? So when I see him walking past, I'm like, whoa, 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 like, what's up? He said, oh shit, what's up, man? I said, listen, bro. First, I ain't want to say nothing between, right? So it's about this many people in the cell. Wow, that's crazy. It's like 34. Not say nothing on some, but I had a lawyer at the time. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? This is so crazy. Check this out. He's talking about Cassie. Y'all was going on shit. So check crazy. this out, bro. I don't have a lawyer at this time. Mm-hmm. So everybody in the, it's, you know, holding itself, 30 people in here. Wow. Man, 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 call a body phone, tell me your lawyer. I'm like, chill, chill, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, chill, chill, chill. He said, man, you ain't, if you don't say something to him, I'm going to say something to him. Yeah. My, y'all, I'm in jail, I'm love. This yeah. is, the, I grew up in prisons and mm-hmm. I'm from the streets, everybody know me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, man, man, tell him, give me some, give me some lawyer money. Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, Maya, it's just me and him and I, I don't want to like ruffle his feathers, so I'm like, he about to lead up. I said, bro, you had two lawyers, right? He's like, yeah. I said, man, can you tell him, tell him to help me? Mm-hmm. He's like, my job. I said, all right, I got you, I got you. I said, listen, take my man number. I stood the number of the door, he took the number, I'm like, yeah, that's what's up, man. Now I'm thinking in my mind, like, yeah, I got to, now I'm about to have a lawyer. Mm-hmm. So I got my man calling day after day. First he answered, then he stopped answering. I mean, sometimes you gotta keep it real so you fucked up. Right. You understand? I'm in the music industry now, so I know that people really fucked up. Yeah, yeah, of course. But if you don't keep it real with a nigga, a nigga think you know. A nigga think you dissing me. Especially. I'm thinking he dissing me. Mm -hmm. So my man like, man, that nigga answer your fucking phone, bro. He he saying, my man like, man, he ain't answering my calls, man. So my man get agitated. I got my mom trying to get in touch with the nigga. Mm. I'm gonna lawyer. Guess who paid my lawyer? Who? My mother, yeah. my grandma, yeah. my aunt, and my sister. Yeah. They put their little checks together yeah. and paid for my lawyer. I'm doing for the family. The yeah. women. Yeah. This is the women. That's real. This is why I got so much respect for women. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. They gonna take care of you, man. When nobody real. else do. All right. Mm-hmm. Women. So right. when I got home, I seen cash. And I'm like. I got hooked up with him to his house. And he said, come on. So I said, fuck it, man. I'm All my homies, like, you gotta understand, like, we don't know celebrities in our neighborhood. Ed, hey, you was Cassidy, you ready to blow. So everybody said, Ed, do not come back to Philly. Cassidy's living out here. She said, stay out there with Cassidy, do not come back to Philly. 
I'm like, all right, first couple of months, I'm just like, yeah, this shit may pay off. Mm -hmm. I'm a BT, right there for you. I'm here, I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm doing all this shit. I'm in the studio in Swiss. Mm -hmm. It's different when he pull up in the car. He got three girls coming to see him. <laughs> but it's him, me, him, and another guy. Me and, me and my homie, we both broke. Our hair is peasy. <laughs> Smell a little musty. Mm -hmm. He dressed work, nice. Yeah, so when the girls come, you just like, I don't even, even want to talk. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, man, I, don't. Yeah. I, I know my underarm stinking, my feet stink right now. You dig know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm, listen, I'm in your crib laying on your couch. Thursdays, man, nigga, shit. I'm shit. in your house laying on your couch. Yo, yo, yo. Ab in the building giving us that street. I know shit. I'm fucked up. Right. So, and, man, at the end of the day, Cass. You know he he should have kept it real, Sydney. I'm fucked. So when up, you came man. when you came, came home, oh, so he never kept it. So Not how even. did how did you know he was fucked up? Like did y'all ever get I to speak? I didn't know, but after a while, like uh, then Dragon Two Set came out of blue. I first came home, he said, "Am a little tight right now. Mm -hmm. I got a little something for you." He gave me two hundred dollars. Oh, my y'all for the body. It was, it Are was, you serious? They was ex basically extorting you up that nigga. Then, you know, I came through for you something like this. This so, is hip hop. So I'm looking like this. This is the but the, you gotta understand, I, my vision was yeah. being a rapper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My vision was I'm be a rapper. I gotta, yeah. I, I gotta suffer. This is grind mode. Yeah. Right. So I slept on couches. Yeah. I slept on floors. Yeah. Uh, uh, my 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 baby mom calling me a bum because yeah. I, I can't afford to buy my kids nothing. Yeah. My son nothing because yeah. I'm gonna roll with him. Mm -hmm. And when they do pass me two, three, four hundred, I shoot back to Philly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I shoot back to Philly. Uh, I, I got 400 from, I'm gonna get my mom a deuce, get my son some, I mean, got some sneakers, and the little bean I'ma have, gotta hold me over, and mm -hmm. gotta pay my bus ride yeah. back out in New York. Yeah. Get with him, so I, I went through that for a year, year and a half, man. Yeah. It was time I was hungry and shit. He got six packs of cookies on the refrigerator. I'm like, damn, Cass, man, you done, just a couple cookies. He said, man, you gotta ask little Cass. My little cat's four years old. <laughs> I'm just kind of, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it. I couldn't swallow my pride to ask a four year old for some yeah, cookies. Yeah, and I'm really real. hungry for real. No, yeah, yo, I'm like, shit, yo, so I'm like this. That's some real shit. Yeah, cool. nah, yeah, so listen, this is what I have to do. When they want to sleep, they'll still sleep. I gotta go in there. I gotta take three cookies out. Make sure the Cookies ain't look like something I took out. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> so check this you know, out. That shit is crazy. Check this out. If I would have told my friends this, mm -hmm. they wouldn't believe you. They would have hurt him. Of no. course. They would have hurt him. No doubt. So you was I would just do safe. every Not day in and out. You was safe looking different. different. So it was, it was it's love yeah, there with me. If I'm living, I'm living with you every day for a year straight, mm -hmm. I'll fuck with you. I right. really got love for you. Mm -hmm. But come on, man. Like, I'm That's hungry. So mm -hmm. so when I got come on, when I come come on to Philly, right? And I gotta ask my man, like, hey, man, you gotta go a couple dollars, man. Mm -hmm. Look at me, like, what's up? He ain't on the foot. I'm like, man, you know, uh, you know what I mean? Make excuses. Mm -hmm. You know how that shit is. Mm -hmm. Long story short, I just quit that shit. Yeah. I went back in the trenches. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I said, I'm going back in the trenches. Mm -hmm. So now when he pulled up on me, it's yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we're going out to eat. Come on, I got everybody. Mm -hmm. oh, I just bought that house. I just bought that house. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, like, Court case. That's why I, so I just went up state for a couple years. Oh, you dig what I'm saying? So it just and you come back home and you still the king of Philly, man. Right? Well, at the end of the day, everybody understand. Listen, man, you are the king of Philly, right? hands down. And then, so all right, now I run here. the underground, I run listen, the streets. Listen, man. Let's fast listen, forward man. to when you all right. You 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 came home now. This is this is about the time when you met you met Meek Mill. I met Meek Mills back in the day. I met Meek Mill like '07. Oh, so, okay. so I met Meek Mills right before Meek was on. Mm -hmm. I had a full surface chain. Mm -hmm. Now mind you, Meek was famous in, in Philadelphia because mm -hmm. he was like 14, 15. Mm -hmm. He was making noise. Yeah, on the rapper side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Meek he, was the he, guy, he, 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 everybody knew him. He ride around on the, on the bikes, take mm -hmm. the, it was like it was like a group of like 40 kids. They take the front wheel off their pedal bikes mm -hmm. and ride around the whole city without a fucking front wheel. Mm -hmm. He was in a clip video back in the day, Rock Willing and shit. Mm -hmm. So I knew him from the DVD rap era. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew him. He already was popular. So when he seen me the full surface chain on that South Street, we stopped we kicking, we took each other numbers, and I did a song with him. Mm -hmm. But this just really made me say, damn, this boy gonna be something. Cause when I came off from jail, I was in my, my mom's house with my little brother, my youngest brother, and like eight of his friends. Mm -hmm. All day phones start ringing, they had Meek Mills in their ringtone. Oh, shit. I said, who the fuck is this nigga? Mm -hmm. 
I'm just coming home from beating a murder. I'm like, what's this little nigga? Mm -hmm. So I, I YouTube that. I'm like, oh, all right. Every little kid in Philadelphia from two wow, to that's hard. 20. Shout out to Free Mick Mill. Everybody knew who he was. On three, on three, you gotta relax. One, two, three. You, you gotta, gotta relax. relax. Oh man, this is so great, man. Philadelphia is like I said, man. We got AR Av in the building. He said Drake gave him a shout out and his fucking DM. Everything went crazy. I from made there. fifty thousand that month. Yeah, All 50, right. Yeah, it's not a lot of money to certain people. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's a lot of but money. But fifty thousand yeah, in one month, yeah. and I, I got it. It's not like yeah. I, yeah. I had it in the pile. Let me tell you something. Let me <laughs> you tell know you something. This fifty grand right here. Listen, because I, I got other money. Yeah. So I can look at that fifty like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm excited about this cash money right yeah, now. Yeah, it's cash. Let me, let, me, let me ask you something, my brother. You, you rep Philadelphia. I know you love oh, sh They got the Super Bowl. Shout yeah. out to Philadelphia and the Eagles. Oh, this my is, God. That's no, probably okay. one of the most happiest Listen, moments of my I life. Yo, I see you won 250. 250. 250. How did that oh, feel? 200. 200. 200. Oh, 200. We got 200. Okay. How did it feel for Birdman to give you that 200? What it was, is, check this out. Uh, what happened? How did that bet? I was, I was betting in Vegas yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when the, the, the game we won to get to the Super Bowl, uh, Vegas gave us Philly six points. Mm. So we was putting 10 grand on. The Eagles out That's Vegas. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? The bookies and Automatically shit. Automatically so won, so you won two times. Birdman had texted me right after that and was like, yo, you want to bet some money on the Eagles? You like them, right? I said, yeah, I like them. Yeah. I said, listen, Vegas giving us six points. Matter of fact, it was a week later. I said, Vegas giving us six points. He said, man, we blood money, man. Yeah. Like, we gonna bet straight up. Yeah. So I'm like, man, you know what, man? I'm uh, yeah. all right. Fuck, we can bet. Yeah. He said, what you want to bet? Mind you, I had my guys in the living room. Yeah. Like my guys, we in the we in the we in the, we in the, we in the trenches with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my guys, my boy, we got our own money. My tell boy, bet it. I said, right, man, better better down. He said, man, better honey. Bet whatever. I'm like, I looked at my homies. I said, bet it. I said, bet it. Yeah. Right? Bet the honey. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm I got, I got the strongest unit in yeah, Philly on yeah, the money tip yeah, and on the street yeah, tip. So yeah. we cool. We don't cover this yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what's up. That's so what's up. check this out. So now I'm bullshit. Mm. I'm just counting some money. I said, I texted him. I said, man, bet 150. I said, in the video. <laughs> I said, man, you want man, about 150. We, we really getting some money. Mm -hmm. And I was selling the video. I was joking. <laughs> this boy is dead serious. Man, better 150. I said, you serious? <laughs> so I'm like, man, you know what, man? Listen, I'm going to back out. We got to back up for it. <laughs> I don't want to bet, man. I'm backing out of this yeah. shit, man. Yeah. He kept fucking on. He said, come on, man. You got to bet something, yeah. man. Bet anything. I said, man, I'm bad. I don't want to say he's pressing me into yeah. the bet. Yeah. I said, you know what, man? Fucking bet it. Cash money. So in the middle of the game, I think we went up to 200 right before the game. Mm. Cause he kept, we kept going back and forth talking shit. So in the middle of the game, he was like, uh, I think they went up one point at that point. Mm. He said, back to 200. We got the ball back out. I like how defense playing. Yeah. Looked at my niggas. Y'all gonna help me if I lose? <laughs> <laughs> he said, well, if you lose, we gonna cover. Yeah. We're gonna, we gonna all gonna put up, me and my two of my, my cousin right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He yeah. said he put like 50 up. Yeah. Yeah. Mama That's man put the 50. I mean, I'll probably put the bean. We didn't figure it out. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I said, all right, bet the bag. I won. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was happy as shit. I, know you <laughs> I, mean, I had a little Super Bowl get together too. I had the money right on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I had all the niggas in there, the woman in there. So the woman fucked up because I got 200. We got 200 grand on the floor and there's no. Peaceful. Mm -hmm. I'm this is my city. This is my man. Mm -hmm. Everybody follow protocol. Yeah, I'm going around my neighborhood with a bag, a million dollars in a bag, sitting in the middle of the street. Go to the store three blocks over and come back. It's gonna be right there. That's just sad. This is my neighborhood. Thanks, I grew up. Be calling your phone. Your call yo, yo, AR This is a point in the podcast with Dr. Out Thursday. Say it's fucking beat. We gonna keep it street. What's up, man? Let's get let's get let's get it going, man. What's up, man? We gonna shoot what, man? We, let's get some balls for you. I don't got no bar. We all need to do it. the phone out. You got me on the phone. Freestyle. Yeah, nah, put it off the phone. I got, I'm going to try to put some shit together for Anything you. Anything you want. We're going to chop uh -huh. it up. We do, we now you got to understand. I write a rap. I record it. Right. Oh, oh, so you ain't got one to use. I don't look good shit. Give me half of it. Give me a second, brother. Right. <laughs> I hear y'all, dog. Close the door. Close the door. Got you. Got you. All ready? Yeah.
Nine heart, ten soft, headshot, spin off, made a hundred off my SIM card. Go out, Kali, he gone, sent off, dump chumps, shot me, leak moss, went off, yeah. high tech, leaning, clip full of demons, hopped out of Ollie's hat, grown men screaming. I draw too fast, he ain't seen it, he just felt it, hit the semen. My block run like it got a warrant. Every time I bought a gun, I put a body on it. Every time I bought a brick, it got insurance. This clip shoot for an hour, it got endurance. Mm. Elbow deep when I go and drop it. Mm. My refrigerator full of my orange boxes. Mm. I ain't trying to talk unless we talk a profit. On my last lick, we had to take a hostage. Mm. Number nine, eight, selling grams on a crate. Bagging up, drying off eight with a fan and a plate. I just seen my favorite aunt smoking straight. She waited till I left, came back and bought eight. <laughs> that nigga called for a brick. I told him, just wait. So did my phone book wrapped up in duct tape. Mm. <laughs> nigga tried this me, it ain't work yet. My pockets full of blue faces. Smurf fat. Smurf fat. I pledge allegiance to this desert eagle. Mm. My dope block looked like Resident Evil. Mm. The last load came too heavy. Mm. I had to buy scale that could measure people. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, let's give it up, hey y'all. Roll the glory, roll the glory, look out, roll the glory coming soon. Pro Call Falls in stores right now. We reporting live, thumbs down Thursday. No grand booth. East Coast pre road king. I got my boy Ching Bing in the house. Ah. Hey, y'all, Ab. Yo. King Ab. <laughs> king Ab Philly. That's what he call him, baby. I might move out. I might move out to New York. Yo, little dog. Don't show me so much love. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. moving yeah. out here. Fuck. Yeah. 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 supporting you, baby. Y'all already know, man. It's AR Ab, King Ab. I run Philly. And we on Thugged Out Thursdays, man. With who? Ching Bing and Mike Booth. East Coast pre road king. You got to relax. Relax! Yeah. Relax!